What's up everyone, Wet's Work here, and I haven't posted in a while. It's because I didn't have anything to do. Couldn't think of anything, and plus, I'm going to get a lot more videos, and I mean a lot more, because guess what? I'm done with school. Today was promotion. I'm officially in ninth grade now. High school is coming up. It's going to be fun. I have updated some... I have two figures for part two of Infinity War done, but today, by the name of the thing, I'm going to be showing you every single pop figure I have. And they're not dolls, as Daddy says. You're probably asking, what? 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 I'm confused. There's this YouTuber called Daddy who um, roasted this YouTuber Beastie and called Pops Dolls. Wanna backhand him in the face. So today we're gonna be showing you all my regular sized Pops. Or just Pop figures. None of them keychain ones, none of the stuffed animal ones. No, um, Mystery Minis, I already did a video on that. That was before I got the Infinity War ones, but Let's start with the, um, well, if you want to know, um, the two biggest groups are the MCU and the Rogue One figures, because I love the MCU, but I just for didn't get the Infinity War ones for some reason, or Thor Ragnarok, or Black Panther. I had a choice to get the Black Panther one, but I decided to get the action figure instead. Because, you know, in my opinion, the Civil War suit is the better suit. And, no, no, no. I just discovered, like, this sticky substance on my Black Panther pop. I'm depressed now. So we're going to go through the MCU ones, because I think they're the best. Got my Sprite with me. Because I'm thirsty. As Dorian. And my class always is. So, let's get with the MCU ones. I have all them right. Oh, I had a Hawkeye from Age of Ultron. I customized it into the Joker. I'll do another video on that, dude. But, start off with the... What would be the very first Marvel pop I ever got? Speaking of very first Marvel pop... The, that one Hawkeye was the second Marvel pop I got, but we're not going to exclude him. I also had an Ultron, he's destroyed, but the very first pop figure I actually got, ironically, was the very first Marvel one too. It is an odd character, I gotta say. This is the character you probably would not expect me to buy for my very first pop figure, but it it's Vision. why I bought him. I just thought he looked so cute. Look at- he just looks so adorable. But he just can't stand. But he does look pretty nice, and I want to get the new Vision, because this one's in like that standing pose, which I hate. It's my guts. I mean, I don't hate it, it's just... It works for some characters, but like Iron Man? And, like, Spider-Man doesn't really wor work for him. And Vision, kind of the same, but yeah, I do like this. He's got the Mind Stone. By the way, spoiler alert, I guess. R.I.P. <laughs> let's be honest. You've seen Infinity War. Who hasn't at this point? If you don't have... If you don't watch these movies on a constant basis, what are you doing with your life? That movie was amazing. But yeah, there are also a couple figures I don't have in my MCU collection, which I kind of wonder why I don't have them. Like Thor and Hulk. I don't know why I don't have a Hulk or a Thor. I just don't. 
but yeah, here's Vision. I think he's pretty good. Moving on, we have sticking with the Age of Ultron pops. I only have three of them. I had five Age of Ultron ones. Gotta say, Hawkeye customized for some reason, because I went through this phase where I just started customizing all my pop figures that I liked. I customized a clone trooper, a snow trooper, a, another vision, and the Hawkeye. I'm so glad I didn't touch any other pops, though. But I ruined the clone trooper. I'm very mad about that. But yeah, here's another Age of Ultron pop. It's Iron Man. I like this one a lot, except for his eyes. I don't think it needed the black outline. But he just looks beady because of it. But I do like the pose he's in. And I love how shiny he is. The, the, the thing I've noticed with Iron Man pops is that they don't look... Like, spot on nice as the other ones. Like, Ant-Man, Yellow Jacket, I mean, Yellow Jacket, Black Panther, Spider-Man, they look nice. But for some reason, Iron Man just doesn't look as good as, like, it doesn't look as 100%. It just seems like they always have, like, a, it's a little different than the regular design is. Or they exclude some paint details. I don't know. There's always something on them. Sorry if I go, like... I'm sick, but he did scrape a lot. I'm used to that, but yeah, he's pretty cool. He's got this this effect, which is cool. Takes up a lot of space, though. Moving on to the, I guess, final Age of Ultron pop, because the other two are broken. I said five. Oh, yeah, I can't count. I'm sorry. Captain America! I like this figure. I got it out of Barnes & Noble. Funny story about how I got this. I know you don't care, but... So, I was... We were driving around, and um, we got lost. Because I'm in Pittsburgh, and I got lost. We, me and my mom got lost driving somewhere. And... We stumbled upon this Barnes & Noble. This was after I got this Groot action figure. From mashers then then I went in and, and we met someone my mom used to know and my mom got me a Captain America pop and a Guardians of the Galaxy mystery minis prayed for Groot did not get Groot got Ronan thought it was cool at the time I thought it was a different variant like I usually do for some reason I don't know why when I get a blind box and it doesn't look anything like the character on the box I automatically assume it's like a variant even though it's just... Oh, never mind. Yeah, I do like this one. I like it more than the Civil War one because he's got a shield out like this. I did break its spring in his neck, if you can see that. Because it came broken and is like always looking up. And I fixed it, kind of. I ruined it and I got so mad. I ended up fixing it. But yeah, there's Cap. Remember when Cap wore the mask and had a star? Also, he has the Avengers A's on his shoulders. But yeah, Cap has that weird thing, too, with, like, the weird design. I don't understand the Iron Man thing, too, because it's just... Did they make Iron Man 3 pops? Did they make Avengers pops, is what I want to know. Do they? Write down in the comments below if you know. Okay. Ant-Man figures. Now, let's, let's talk about this Ant-Man. He is hard to find. I got the yellow jacket, and I went to find the Ant-Man, and everywhere I went, they didn't have him. But I finally got him, and I loved him. I just like this little Ant-Man. He's so cool. Although, they did fix the problem that they had, because this definitely looks like they were going to show a mouth. So I guess old designs of this suit had a mouth, but they colored it silver. It doesn't look that bad. He's got the translucent eyes, which looks nice. He's got all the silver detail. He's just so cool. I like him a lot. 
I like Ant Man. Next we have Yellow Jacket, which I really like because Hey, black and yellow, black and yellow. Pittsburgh. He's got so much dust. I haven't touched these guys in ages. Yeah, I, I really like these guy this guy. He's got stingers. Sadly, he was a one-off villain like the rest. Except Thanos. My child, my baby. Also, Ultron can't be dead. I, I will re I refuse to think Ultron's dead. He is not dead. He is alive. They can't kill off Ultron like that. He is not a one-off villain. Also, I hate how people are thinking Loki faked his death and... Oh, crap. I should probably mention there are going to be spoilers for Infinity War in this video. Sorry about that. Okay, spoilers for Infinity War. Just to tell you, I... Ah, I'm, I'm horrible with this. Because, um... After you see a movie, you forget that some people haven't seen the movie yet. You just start talking about it and you mention the spoiler and you're like, Oops! I would edit that out, but I can't edit on this tablet because it's trash. So yeah, I am talking way too much. Okay, Civil War. Um, start off with the very first one I got. I believe it was this Black Panther. I prefer this design to it, but I prefer this design to the um. Infinity War and Black Panther one, I just like it more. It just looks more menacing and cooler. Yeah, that's, that's Black Panther. I really like him. I also have War Machine. I got it for Christmas one year. I do like this War Machine, though. It's cool. It's very shiny. He's got his baton. Remember they are advertising that like crazy and like appeared in the movie for like three seconds. Speaking of War Machine, we have Iron Man who suffers from a square head for some reason. Also, yeah, mention the Infinity War spoilers. I, I hate how people are theorizing that Loki faked his death in Infinity War. I wish. I hope that's not true. I just, it just doesn't seem right. Also, Thanos said no resurrections this time. Oh, come on, motorcycle, you piece of trash. I hate motorcycles, they're so loud. Okay, let's get Hawkeye. I like this Hawkeye. This is probably my favorite Hawkeye pop because it just is so dynamic. The other one was just holding his bow, but this one looks nice. Okay, next. We're not even done with the MCU figures, if you see. Like, I'm rushing, because we have lots to go through. Probably my favorite pop from Civil War is this dude. I also broke him. So yeah, if you ever wanted to know what that looked like. He also doesn't bobble that much. I, it didn't. I didn't break his spring. His just head is super low. But I just love this look. It just looks so cool. He's also huge. He's beside the regular Ant Man. And playing with him for a while, grabbing this old Ant Man is like, oh, it's so small. Okay, next final Civil War figure. Let's introduce him. And Rose. Hey everyone, it's Pizzi Parker. I like having the shield off because I just like using it as Spider-Man. That's why I didn't buy the new Spider-Man because I already have this one and it's in a way cooler pose. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit more detailed, but still, I like it. And he also comes with Captain America shield. Just odd. I thought it was gonna be connected to him, but it isn't. 
Okay, next we have... Really, the next movie is Spider-Man? I'm coming. I'm coming. My voice just died there. We got this Spider-Man. I don't know why. I got... I, my mom got this for me, and I like it so much, because this is... This is so me. If I was Spider-Man, I'd most likely be rocking a jacket and some headphones. My dream is to get headphones, because every time I put, like, earbuds... I might... My dream is to get these kind of headphones, because the other ones that you just put in your ears, they always fall out. Maybe I'm putting them in the wrong way. But yeah, I had, like, totally rock a jacket with a Spider-Man costume on. I have before, too. But let's get to Infinity War. We have two, and I'm planning on getting Iron Spider, and Thor, and Thanos. I want to get the one from Guardians, too, but... Not the second one, the first Guardians, but I'm in the Never mind. I also want to get some of the Black Order, but here's Eponima. You will be cleansed. Um, your deaths are not. You have become children of Thanos. You know. It means get lost, Squidward. That has to be the greatest roast of all time. And that one scene where he throws the billboard at um, Spider-Man, not Spongebob. Whoop. It dead on looks like he's Squidward. Also, I love how Iron Man knows what Squidward is. Thank you. Thank you. First, I see this Lego stop motion with Iron Man watching the Golden Girls. Then Iron Man in the movies mentions Spongebob. Iron Man is, knows me so well. Also, if you don't ever tell anyone about that Golden Girls part. I love the Golden Girls. Is that that one theme song? It's like, no, that's House of Full House. Full House. Yeah, I like how he looks weird. He has a ponytail. That's so retarded. Like, he just, I don't, you look like he's bald, and then you just see this ponytail out nowhere. It's like, what? Also, yeah, we have the Iron Man one, which is the best Iron Man that I have, in my opinion. It's got the nicest red and the nicest, it's got the coolest pose, and the nicest red, and the nicest head sculpt. It's just amazing. Those are my MCU pops. Let's get to miscellaneous. Got the, got the neighbor from Hello Neighbor. I like this one a lot. Um, we have the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. It's pretty cool. Who's big BFG? It's the BFG. When I discovered that they made this pop, is when I got it, because it was a surprise. But it's the greatest thing ever, because I love that movie so much. So much so that I bought the book. Now, you're probably like, oh, you bought the book after you saw the movie. Okay. And I watched the animated version, some of it, before I got bored. But here's the thing. You're probably like, oh, you bought a book, but I never buy books. Books are like my arch nemesis. Why read something when you can watch it? Exactly. That's my saying. Which is why I always ask, is there a movie version of this book? Is there a movie that... Is there... Did they remake this? Did they make this book as a movie? That's what I usually say whenever someone says, read me a book, that I'm gonna read a book. Which is why I was reading this Goosebumps book and I decided to watch the episode of Goosebumps instead. But yeah, I do like this. I love how he has the biggest nose in existence and he got that wrinkly head. But yeah, I love him. I also like how he's like taller than a normal pop, but like not as tall as like these super large pops. Let's get that scale in there. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, rip! Okay, let's get to the X-Men side of things. And then we'll be done with Marvel, finally. We have Mystique. I like this pop, it's pretty cool. Also, Bobbles. So, what am I? Also, I've also noticed that they made the girls skinnier as well. We have Storm with the messed up head. Let's get her out 
over there. I hate this pop because of that head. It just... Oh! There's Charles. Had a bad day with all the marks on his face. He's in a wheelchair. So I noticed you couldn't get him to stand up without the um stand, but I prefer using the stand. Just push it right in there. We got, we got, not Mysterio, Magneto. Yeah. We got Colossus. I like this pop. It's shiny. I like shiny pops. He's cool. He's got a very flat head. I saw the scene that he's in in Deadpool. Deadpool, where he's talking about recruiting Wade. I didn't watch Deadpool because I'm too young. My mom said I could watch Logan though. What movie did I- I chose Split instead. I'm happy I chose Split instead because I love that movie and and made me watch Unbreakable. Also, yeah, probably the coolest pop I have. I don't know why, I just love this pop so much. It's probably the greatest pop of all time in my opinion. Deadpool. Except this isn't like that ordinary Deadpool holding a knife. He's got his thumb pointing to him, which I love. I just love the expression. This is so Deadpool. Then just put no nope, put him beside this Spider-Man. Uh -huh. You can tell this is more pink and this is more orange. Yeah, I love this Deadpool. Break at the fourth wall here. Okay, let's get to let's get to the sad lonely Superman. Because comic DC characters, let's get through them all. Here's the first and the last one. Superman. I got this for free. As you notice, my mom works at a bookstore, and she, I got, like, so many free things. I got a free Lego Flash. I got a free War Machine action figure. I got this weird brick dude. They can move around and stuff. I got a lot of free things. Okay, let's go to, um, DCEU, or as I call, the poor man's MCU. I actually liked Batman v Superman and Justice League, but in my opinion, if I were to be only be able to save one franchise, sorry Flash, but it'd be Marvel. Speaking of Flash, I like Flash. But yeah, here's Superman. I repainted his face because I ruined it, and then I ruined the paint on his face. I think I need the new Justice League one. This guy has seen some things. And there's Batman. And to get him out of the way, here's the Flash. I like this pop, actually. I think I, yeah, I did do a review on him, and I do like him a lot. I just don't understand the back of his head. Back of his head. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't do the laugh. <laughs> Let's hurry up. We got so many more figures to go through. Pops. CW Flash. Got the Flash. This is the second pop I got. Third pop goes to Reverse Flash. I like how he has the ring. Oh, bro fist. Next, we have Captain Freeze, Captain Cold, we got Zoom, which I actually liked. I liked Zoom and Savitar. I don't know why. I want to see Godspeed, though. It's my favorite Flash villain. Godspeed. Let me get Godspeed, please. Godspeed! It was why I lost it when I watched that season season finale of The Flash, because I saw this hand, and I saw white and black, and I was like, Is that Godspeed? I swear to God. I get it. They If they don't show Godspeed in this show, in season five or six, I'm going to call them up and say, Hey, keep a Godspeed in an episode. I don't care if it's just one episode. I just want to see Godspeed. 
He's like my favorite. Now let's get the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I hate Harry Potter. I'm just gonna say it. Hate it. My first experience was watching the Deathly Hallows. Now you're probably like, why the hell did you start in the Deathly Hallows? And I said, I didn't start at the beginning of the Deathly Hallows. No, I started watching the beginning. I started watching in the middle of the first Deathly Hallows. And then I watched part two. I did not read the books. I did not watch any of the other movies. But yeah, you're probably like, wow, you are. You should definitely do it. I don't feel like it. I like Fantastic Beasts. I just don't like Harry Potter. But the, let's talk about the one character I only remember his name. Um, Newt Scamander. I like this dude. He's cool. Made a Lego of him. I like this pop a lot. Okay, moving on. I use him as Barry Allen because I don't have a Barry Allen. Let's get to the one pop. This is the coolest of them all. The Niffler. Flipping love this dude. He's so cool. He's so cute. Ew. Now, um, I'm, now, what you're gonna see is just me giving these people names. I'm just gonna name these people. I know they're not, these aren't their real names. Um, I don't remember their names, so I'm just gonna call them this. Uh, introducing Magical Gwen Stacy. Or Black Widow. In Infinity War. My, or my mom. Because she has this kind of hair. Or Ramen Noodles. <laughs> um. Um. Part Ned, part neighbor from Hello Neighbor. I don't know why it makes me it just does a cool awesome sidekick wearing his armor um i want to call this girl nicole and um we got josh brolin i know those aren't his, their names i just can't remember this guy's name i can't remember the actor i know what he looks like i know who the actor is i just can't remember his name Anywho, let's get to Minions. Is it sad that I love that franchise? Okay, we got the Oh Natural Minion. Oh, whoops! What's there to look at? And we're right. It would have been cool if they put like a screen here. But nope. Got a pirate minion. Also got Kevin with a fish. But the the greatest one. Oh. Oh. I found this. Okay. King Bob. I also dinked him with like a gold mark. If you can see that right there. It's from King Bob, if you want to know. From his crown. I love this dude. I just love him so much. He's so adorable. Okay, next. Let's get the Star Wars, the failing franchise. I'm sorry, but I didn't even bother going to see Solo. Probably because I Solo's not even one of my favorite characters. I know. Here's the two people I customized for some reason. I tried to make this guy kill a moth. Don't know what I was doing. But I tried to make this guy dead shot. Don't know what I was doing. I regretted both decisions because I really like these pops. Let's get them out of the way. Let's get Ahsoka. I actually love this pop. Which. I cried when I first got it. Because I. The head came off. And the best part was I told my mom. I broke it, the head came off, and she was like, okay. That was the tone. That was it, and just walked away. There they are. Then I got this Yoda. I like this ghost Yoda. He's sexy AF. I got the um, original Darth Vader. As dusty as can be. Now 
Now let's get the rogue one. This is where I... I know most characters. Vietnam! Wait, what? Why is that pink? Okay. K2SO! Uh -oh -oh -oh. I like, I, this is my favorite character besides Darth Vader in Rogue One. Uh, okay, Baze Malbus. Cassian. I hate how they did his eyebrows and how they just painted that to so obviously paint. But if he has brown hair, why does he have eyebrows? Why does he have black eyebrows? This makes me re think about something. Why don't they put eyebrows on Superman? If there were eyebrows, I would have drew them. Seriously. What? Why? Why? Okay, let's get to the Jen Ursio, as I call her. Let's get Chira Mway. Also, he looks very pale. Like he, he looks like he's dying. Okay, let's get the two cool characters now. Let's get the Death Trooper. I, I love these dudes. I hope they appear in another Star Wars movie because they should get their own solo film. You know who actually should get their own solo film? The Stormtrooper that dinked his head. Disney. Work it. Also, we got Darth Vader. Eh. I own two of him. I did a review of this dude. I believe it's sitting at zero views. I'm not sure. Uh. Okay, that's it. That's that's the video. See y'all next time. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to be uploading because I'm. I I was gonna make that schools out for summer song as a joke, and then I remembered I hate that song with my entire life. Like, I hate that song with all, with every cell of my body. See ya, bye.